Hello friends, this is Durga from IT Varsity with 20 plus years of experience in IT and 12 plus years of experience in big data and data engineering. Lately, data engineering is getting quite a bit of traction and we started publishing a series of courses around data engineering. In that process, we are glad to announce a new course called as Databricks Certified Associate Developer for Apache Spark 3.0. The course is designed based upon the curriculum that is uh, there as part of the outline on the course landing page. You can see the details uh, in this uh, uh, screen. Uh, all this will be provided to you in the form of DBC. You should be able to upload into your Databricks platform, which you are going to set up if you don't have one based upon our instructions. And then you should be able to practice by going to the content. That being said, uh, I myself have given the certification exam in the recent past. I have cleared it with 90%. I am fairly confident that by going through the course, your probability of clearing the exam will improve quite a lot. However, we are not going to guarantee 100% that you will be clearing the exam because you might fail the exam due to several other factors. I wish you best of luck if you are actually planning for the exam and also uh, if you are interested to take this course to prepare well for the exam, feel free to sign up. At any point in time, if you have any questions, feel free to write to us. We will try to clarify and you can take it further. At times, it might ask you to give the rating. Make sure you give us a 5 star rating. If you think our course doesn't deserve 5 star rating, feel free to raise your concerns. We will try to clarify or we will try to improve. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for the course, set up your environment, upload the content, go through the videos in Udemy, uh, practice using the material, go through the tips and strategies to take the exam, leveraging the material that is provided while taking the exam, then uh, give your exam. If you are able to clear the exam, feel free to share your experience with us. We'll also broadcast in our network so that you get some branding. Also, we're in the process of uh, uh, getting into placement assistance. If at all, uh, you would like to get some placement assistance, feel free to reach out to us. We'll try to uh, get a placement assistance as well for you. I hope uh, uh, you will be liking the course and also I'm wishing best of luck if you are interested in giving the certification very soon. One of the key resources with respect to Databricks certifications is nothing but Databricks Academy. It actually provides quite a few details with respect to certification exams and hence I would highly recommend you to sign up for Databricks Academy and use certain free courses to understand more about certifications which you want to pursue. That being said, to get into the Databricks Academy, you can actually go to the landing page of the Databricks. It is nothing but databricks.com. Once you are in the landing page of the Databricks, you should be able to click on learn and then you should be able to click on training and certification. Once you click on training and certification, you will be on the Databricks Academy landing page. As part of the Databricks Academy landing page, you have Academy login here. You should be able to click on this. Then it will take you to this page. If you already have account, you should be able to enter your username, which is nothing but email and corresponding password. Then click on sign in. You will be able to get into the Databricks Academy. However, if you do not have the account, you should be able to scroll down and click on register. It will actually open up a form. It is a very simple form. You just have to fill this form. Once you fill this form, you might have to complete the verification. You have to look at your email and complete the verification. Once you are done with your verification, then you should be able to log in by going back to this page. You should be able to enter the email and corresponding password and click on sign in. It will take you into the Databricks Academy. Uh, this is how you should be able to get started with Databricks Academy. They are actually in the transition. The academy website is not very reliable at this time but they will improvise and everything should fall in place very soon that being said once you are in the databricks academy website uh, once you log in you should be able to explore the courses relevant to the certifications and then uh, we have to take it further as part of the next lecture let's understand how to search for a course and also let's go through uh, brief details about how to take those courses once you sign up for the Databricks Academy, you should be able to get the details with respect to the certification by enrolling to a course that is there as part of their platform. In this case, you should be able to search for it by saying Databricks Certified Associate. You can actually click on all results. You can see there is something called as Databricks Certified Associate Developer for Apache Spark 3.0 for additional fee. However, it is actually free. I have already signed up and completed. That's why it is not showing anything here. But it used to be free here. After I signed up, it actually stopped showing it. That being said, you can actually click on it and you should be able to enroll. There will be an option to enroll somewhere here. Let me actually go back to another course which is free. Let me go to 
the previous page which is nothing but this one in this let me click on this for now you see there's enroll here you should be able to click on this to enroll once you click on enroll you will see option to actually start the learning you can actually start learning and then you should be able to go through this only page as part of this course and you should be able to get all the details with respect to the certification exam this is how you should be able to get all the details with respect to the databix certified associate developer for apache 3.0 you can go through the prerequisites you can actually go through the details with respect to preparation and also more importantly you should be able to go through the exam details and quite a few other details i'll be covering all these uh, one at a time so that you are really comfortable about what you can expect with respect to this certification exam for now i have actually demonstrated how to get into the databix academy and get the details for this certification exam by enrolling to a free course with only module to provide us the details related to the exam once you sign up to the databix academy and enroll for this course which is nothing but this one databix certified associate developer for apache spark which actually provides the details with respect to the exam you should be able to go to the details to understand more about what is expected with respect to taking this exam the most important section in this is nothing but prerequisites these are the prerequisites to give the exam you need to be familiar about all these things so that you can give the exam with confidence the items are nothing but have a basic understanding of spark architecture including adaptive query execution adaptive query execution is relatively new but very powerful there might be a few questions around it so make sure you prepare around this before giving the exam on top of spark architecture and also you should be familiar about all the apis related to spark when i say apis i'm talking about spark data frame api using python or scala as programming language these are the areas which you should be focusing on you should know how to select rename or manipulate columns in a data frame you should also know how to filter drop sort and also perform aggregation on rows in the data frame you should also know how to join uh, read write and also parse in the data frames and also you should understand how to work with udfs and spark sql functions if you are pretty good at spark sql then it is not good enough to actually give the exam you should be familiar about data frame apis not spark sql to give this exam also you can see that uh, they are saying even though it is not explicitly tested the candidate must have a working knowledge of either python or scala the exam is available in both languages you can actually sign up for the exam using the programming language of your choice and then you can actually give the exam you will not be tested on python or scala you will be tested using data frame apis but there might be some code snippets around the apis using this underlying programming language that being said when it comes to the content with respect to this course covering all these items once you set up the material as part of your databix platform first you will see details with respect to these items then towards the end you will see the details with respect to spark architecture and adaptive query execution just keep that in mind all these items are actually in order only this one is placed towards the end now make sure you go to the course with diligence and be comfortable with all the material practice enough so that you gain enough confidence to give this tough exam this is one of the toughest exams with respect to spark you have to be really comfortable with a lot of stuff so that you can clear the exam without uh, failing that being said also once you go to the content you should also understand how you can actually access the material provided to you i'll be covering those details towards the end of the course before taking the exam you make sure you go through those details and be prepared so that you can actually take the exam with a lot more comfort level otherwise you will struggle a little bit while taking the exam that being said these are the prerequisites with respect to the exam the content is created based upon these prerequisites make sure you go through the content and be prepared to take the exam as part of the previous lecture we have gone through the prerequisites to take the exam In this lecture let's go to the resources that are suggested by databix to take this exam the resources that are suggested are nothing but the course apache spark programming with databix also you should be able to review this blog which actually explain details about spark architecture they are actually planning to announce a new course on spark data frame apis you can also leverage it to actually prepare for the exam uh, when it comes to additional resources you can see the details with respect to spark the definitive guide they are actually suggesting you to go through 1 2 and 4 of this book also with respect to learning spark which is specified here they are suggesting to go through chapters 1 to 7 these are the resources which you can leverage to actually prepare for the exam however our course content is designed in such a way that 
it can be leveraged to actually clear the exam with confidence. You don't need to go through multiple resources to actually prepare for the exam. Keep in mind that our exam will only improve the chances to clear the exam. We are not guaranteeing that uh, you'll be able to clear the exam. Uh, when it comes to the uh, clearing the exam, it not only depends on the curriculum uh, and the content which we have provided, it will be depending upon several other factors. For that reason, we will not be taking any responsibility if you are not able to clear the exam. Also, they are recommending uh, you to complete the practice exam of your language of choice, Python or Scala, by clicking on these links. You should be able to click on these links and you should be able to uh, get a practice exam. Uh, I have gone through the practice exam. It is almost at the level of the certification exam. Also, the practice exam contains 60 questions. You should actually go through this practice exam before taking the uh, exam. Also, when it comes to taking this practice exam, I will uh, provide you some tips. You should follow those tips while taking the practice exam once you go through the uh, training. Uh, towards the end of the course, you will see a section related to using uh, this to actually take the uh, practice exam. Uh, also, at the time of taking the practice exam, you should be in a position to review the help so that you can actually uh, answer the questions with confidence. I will actually demonstrate how to take this practice exam while reviewing the help the way you are supposed to review as part of the uh, actual exam. That being said, uh, these are the resources that are suggested by Databricks. However, you don't need to worry too much about going through all this. You just take the course, make sure you follow the tips and you can uh, give a try with confidence to see if you will be able to clear the exam or not. Uh, most likely, you should be able to clear the exam. There might be factors where you might fail. Uh, we don't take responsibility for that. As you have understood details with respect to the curriculum related to the certification exam and also the resources, now it is time for us to understand the exam details. The exam is uh, based on multiple choice questions. You can see here, the exam consists of 60 multiple choice questions. You will be having 120 minutes to complete the exam. Also keep in mind that you just have to choose one option with respect to each and every question. There will be no questions at this time where there might be multiple answers for a given question. When it comes to passing score, it is nothing but 70%, which means out of 60, you have to get 42 right. You can see the details here. The exam will be conducted via an online proctor. You should know how to take uh, online proctored exams. Make sure you sign up for the exam. Uh, one day before, go through the uh, details with respect to exam. Make sure you are prepared to take the exam. You will get the information as part of the email once you sign up for the exam. Make sure the system is ready as per the expectations to take this online exam instead of waiting till the last minute. Once you sign up for the exam, make sure you go to the email and complete the prerequisites for your system to take the exam. Also, while taking the exam, you will be getting the documentation based on the programming language you have chosen to take the exam. Also, you will be provided with a digital notepad for taking notes and writing example code. However, I don't think it is necessary for you to use this, but uh, it will be useful if you actually go through their details with respect to uh, the documentation that will be provided to you. Make sure you spend some time uh, to be comfortable with respect to accessing the documentation at the time of taking the exam. Uh, I will cover those details towards the end of the course. I will make sure that you are comfortable to go through the documentation while taking the exam. You should be able to get other exam details by going through this certification FAQ link. That being said, the exam is provided here. Documentation is provided here. I will actually cover a section where you will be using the documentation that is provided here to take the exam that is provided here. That way you will be comfortable to give the exam while accessing the documentation effectively. As we have gone through most of the important details with respect to Databricks Certified Associate Developer for Apache Spark, in this lecture, let's go through the details with respect to registration. However, before getting into the registration, make sure you go through technology requirements. You can actually click on this link to go to the provider who actually conducts the proctored exams. You need to make sure you understand all the tech requirements and also preparation instructions before actually registering for the exam. If you don't have appropriate system to actually take the exam, then you might not get the refund. So you have to be careful. You need to go through these details and make sure your system is capable of giving the exam. Most of the modern systems, I don't see there should be any challenges, but we never know. It is better to go through this page and make sure you understand whether you can use your system or not to take the exam. Once you go through technology requirements, if you think you are ready to sign up, you should be able to click on register to sign up for the exam. It will take you to WebSSR link. This is nothing but e-commerce platform which will uh, provide you the capability to sign up for the certification exams. Databricks uses this platform. You can see that there are multiple exams with respect to Databricks. 
in our case we are talking about databricks certified associate developer for apache spark you can see that there are two versions of it one is based on python second one is based on scala based upon the preferred uh, programming language for you you should be able to click on continue and you should be able to sign up for the exam using that programming language if you accidentally select the other one i don't know how it will work you need to follow up with the tech support of databricks uh, they might uh, provide you the direction uh, make sure you don't make those silly mistakes and struggle to reach out to them just make sure you observe and sign up for the uh, right version depending upon the programming language of your choice that being said once you click on continue then you should be able to uh, choose the uh, date once you choose the date uh, they will actually provide you the required instructions to actually complete the transaction you have to enter your credit card information or you might be able to use other uh, payment methods also once you go through all the pages you will understand how to actually make the payment once you make the payment you will be officially registered for the exam they will send a notification about the further details you have to follow and you have to take it further uh, this is how you should be able to register for the exam the exam costs 200 dollars unless you get a voucher with discount